Hold up, wait a minute. Hey, boy, it's your boy Jazzy. It's your boy True. And this is Real yeah. Boxing, Boxing Network. Network. Yeah, man, we back at it. Y'all know what the deal is. Fight Club yourself up. You know the first rule. Hit that notification bell, like, comment, and subscribe. We have an unprecedented time within entertainment when you can have one fight with six belts on the line. We talking Terrence. Crawford and Julius and Dungo. What's up with it, True? Yeah, man, this is this is the one for all the marbles right here. Um, the last one to do this, the last one to have this type of fight was uh, what was it, Bernard Hopkins? Yeah, Bernard Hopkins, Jermaine Taylor. Yeah, Bernard Hopkins and Jermaine Taylor. This is a uh, this is boxing definitely needs this fight. I commend both of these guys on uh, you know actually manning up and fighting. You know the best. You know the best got to fight the best, and that's why I feel like that's why I feel where boxing needs to start going. Hopefully, this can be an example, and I see that. Um, also, and this has nothing to do with this fight, this fight that we're gonna cover. But I, I do feel like that's what Earl Spence is trying to do. Also, he's trying to bring that back. He's trying to unify everything. You know, and um, you know, that's the that's those are the type of champions that you want to have. Those. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I commend I commend uh, Terrence Crawford and uh, Julius and Dongo on taking this fight. The wonderful word, unify. That's what we want to hear. That's that's what it's about, right there. 2017 is where the best fights the best is the year's mantra it has put boxing back on the map this is why you're going to hear real boxing network starting detail cover these fights that is bringing boxing back alive terrence crawford and julius and dongo you're talking about two warriors now julius and dongo a lot of us don't know nothing about him because he's been fighting in nambia and he's a older cat I believe he's 35 years old somewhere like that and he uh his last three fights has actually been his first three fights out of Nambia with him winning all these belts because he first got a hold of the IBO and then he beat Edward Trombowski Trombansky for the IBF and then uh he beat Ricky Burns to get the uh the WBA super and as we know Terrence Crawford the OG in the game Bud Crawford from Omaha, Nebraska. Bud. Yeah. <laughs> Terrence Bud. Yeah. Crawford. So you y'all know his story where he uh he uh pretty much made himself with that Gamboa fight, which is a phenomenal fight. If you haven't watched it, go fight watch that yeah, fight. Yeah, go check that fight out. Yeah. Go check that fight and out. And he's a very technical sound fighter. You talking about somebody that knows how to box and run around the not run adjustment. But yeah, use the ring in the advantage. Very smart. Like quick jabs, uppercuts is killer. Killer. Quick jabs. He got a he got a real nice quick hook too. Yeah, yeah. I mean and it's it's hard to really close in on him because that's his game for you to close in on him so he can just eat you up alive as you come in piece by piece but when he fought uh victor pastile everybody was you know mesmerized at that fight he uh became the wbo first he was the wbo wbo uh lightweight champion now he's the wbo super lightweight champion and then with uh with uh beating ricky burns he also became the uh the wbo and wbc super lightweight champion right, so right, right. so he's been the ring magazine champion so he has three belts up and julius and dungo you know he got his three belts up wba super ibf you know ibo yeah exactly exactly so um what who i like in this fight um i'd have to go with terrence crawford but i will say this that he can't get caught with shots from Julius Undungo. Yeah. Like, let's let's break down Julius Undungo. This guy's very, very, very tall yeah, for that weight. Yeah. I mean, five eleven. Yeah, five eleven. you one forty and you five eleven. Yeah, like this. The guy, he's um. One thing I do. One thing I have noticed about him. Um. He doesn't. He doesn't really have like um. I wouldn't say he's skillful because he's a he's a champion obviously yeah. but as far as like you know like the premier champions you like you know like when they step in the ring and they give you that presence and you know the way that they move in the ring and everything that that lets their body know that they're in control of their body and their body's not in control of them yeah. so with that being said i still feel like julius and dongo he still has a little bit more work on to do with his craft um <laughs> 
Um, but Terrence, I mean, but he he's already he already, he's already older. So, um, t but Terrence Crawford, man, this guy can make adjustments in the ring. This guy can can jab you from a long range. But see, there's where he runs into the problem with Julius and Dongo nah, because he does just live on the yeah. And, and this, strong. yeah, this guy's strong. Yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> like this guy has longer reach. He's longer than uh, he's yeah. taller than uh, Terrence Crawford. His but biggest win being Ricky Burns. Yeah, That's it, his last it, fight. Actually. Exactly, exactly. But I, 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 feel, I just feel like Terrence Crawford will probably be um, a, a little, a little too much for Julius and Dongo. Um, he's like I said, Terrence Crawford is very, very smart. Uh, when Terrence Crawford moves around in the ring, you got to watch his footwork, man. Like yeah. Terrence Crawford, like he knows how to window out of situations. Like, say for instance, um, the Felix Diaz fight. Terrence Crawford was going forward on his ass the whole fight. He was going forward on his ass the whole fight. And uh, who who was the cat that uh Terrence Crawford fought on the back foot? Damn near the whole fight and beat his ass up. Was it uh? Was, 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 was it? Yeah, yeah, Victor, Victor Pastel. Pastel. Yeah, he he like see and Victor and, Pastel was twenty eight and notes. exactly, and those were both championship fights. And guess what? He fought those fights completely different. Like, see, that's what I'm saying about Terence Crawford. Julius and Dungo, he can't really. He, he's a, he's a he's a one style fighter. He's a one way fighter. You know, what I mean, don't get me wrong. He I mean, he's he, he's good at what he does, obviously. Um, but I just feel like Terrence Crawford just has a little bit more in the arsenal. He's a, he, he's he's younger, he's hungrier. Um, he wants to move up after this, after he cleans it all out right here. Um, I I I gotta I gotta go with Bud right here, man. Yeah, I gotta yeah, go with Bud, Bud. Cause man, Bud gon' gon' use Julius and Dungo aggressiveness against him. And the thing about it is, Bud can also dodge. But this is what people don't understand about Terrence Crawford. Is he can take a punch too? I'm like he. I mean, he fought Gamboa, he fought Ricky Burns, he uh, fought Victor Pastel. You know, I mean, Felix Diaz got a little punch on him too. So, man, to be honest with you, like he has proven that he can take a punch. Julius and Dungo, if you look him up, it's not. It's, you don't know who he's fought. Like he's went from fighting Nambia people literally for like nine years of his career. He's 22 and 0. But he's been fighting people in Nambia for like six, nine years or something like that. So he's recently just now getting into the circuit of world class boxing. So it's always something he has to prove. The only crazy thing is he's strong and he's 5'11, being able to make weight even underneath welterweight. Because welterweights aren't even 5'11. Like uh, Earl Spence and Kell Brook are 5'9, five, 5'9 nine, five, nine and a half, and they're considered big in the welterweight yeah, division yeah. <laughs> so being 511 in the division lower than welterweight <laughs> that's the only thing but terrence if you know terrence crawford and they gonna fight in omaha nebraska it's been sold out this is august 19th everybody y'all like you have to tune in it's on espn top rank putting this on y'all know terrence crawford left hbo and went to top rank him and lemonchenko so it's gonna be on espn which should be in a lot of people's sports packages so they not even putting the epic six belt on the line, undisputed, unified, undefeated champion title bout on pay per view. Yeah. You gotta love it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta love, love it. it. This I could be the biggest fight of the year. Yeah, they they they're giving back to the fans, you know, and that, that's what boxing needs to go go back to. Like this, and this is another thing that's off uh, off topic, but it's just something I feel like that needs to be yeah, said. It's about like, boxing. Man, back in the day, you there were no there there weren't a lot of pay per view fights. They gave they let the fans enjoy championship yeah, fights. Yeah, they didn't charge the fans for championship fights. Yeah, done. Versus, King you you got you you got you got guys like you got guys that would just want to be flashy and and do this and do that and demand to be a a, a pay per view fighter. Yeah, but they don't even have the skills to qualify for it. Yeah, yeah, like. I, that that's something that I don't get. Like, see, a fight like a, a, a unification fight like this, this is something that should be pay per view. Yeah. This is something really? that should be pay per view. Like all these other fights, like all these other fights, all these other championship fights for the WBC, the IBF, the WBO, those fights right there, those championship fights should be given to the fans, and then whenever they wanna, um, whenever they, whenever the boxers wanna, um, unify. That's when they can get their big ass payday, and that and that's when uh they should be able to 
charge pay per view yeah. because that's why all these belts are just floating around out here because these boxers just got one belt and they want to call themselves a the champ. Like, no, man, you got to get all these belts out here, man. Yeah. Like, boxing, boxing needs to step up and. Y'all see what yeah, I'm saying? Crazy. Boxing needs to step up the and, and, and make the, and make these guys all fight at at the end. Supposedly that was the whole reason why they was gonna allow all these belts anyway, was so that they can usually have a tournament of seeing who was the best in that division, allowing four world champions and also two uh, additional moderate champions. So, man, all being said, we ain't trying to take up all y'all time. We got more bread to make, more videos to. To make yes go get it you know what i'm saying but you gotta tune in because this is what we need a boxing match well for all the marvels but you ain't got to pay for outside of your own cable you know what i'm saying so go ahead and support terrence Crawford, julius and dongo truth what's good with it tell them let them know before we get about it yeah man go out and check check out that fight man this is this is good for boxing um last time espn had a fight um it was it was some really 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 good numbers. Who who fought on that ESPN card? Where they at? No, that was a uh, Pacquiao and uh. Yeah Jeff yeah Warren. yeah the and Pacquiao they, uh, and Jeff Warren. Was, uh, was it was it uh four million or yeah, five million? Yeah, crazy numbers, million? crazy numbers, man. Like yeah, these guys, the these guys. I I like what ESPN is doing, right? Uh, you know, with boxing. Shout out to ESPN. Yeah yeah yeah. ESPN. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah oh yeah. Yo, y'all need to catch up. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all decent fights to be on pay per view. So, y'all slipping right now. Let's go. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and we, we will be willing to work with y'all, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, 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 but, uh, nah, for real, though. But, um, yeah, nah, that's all the time we got for today. So, um, Man. signing off is your boy True. It's your boy Jazzy. And, and this, this is, is Real Boxing, Boxing Network. Network. Hold up, wait a minute. Hey, boy, it's your boy Jazzy. It's your boy True. And this.